Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, 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 welcome to the 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Now, I have never played this game before. I've had it on my Switch for some time now, and just never really had a chance to play it. So I figured, fuck it, let's go for it. Now, as always, if you fine lads enjoy this channel, my content, or just in general, my stupid nonsense, any engagements you guys leave, helps the channel out immensely with the algorithm. It allows for us to get out to other users, helps our community to grow, and helps the channel at large grow, and I appreciate that help. If you want to come hang out with me, link in the description below for the Discord if you haven't joined already. Um, come April 11th, so in like two days, three days, three days, three days from now, on the Discord, I'm going to be streaming, or I'm planning on streaming, the new Amazon Prime uh, Fallout series, because we know that's going to be a major dumpster fire. But with that said, let me shut up and get to the game. How do I proceed? There we go, that's how we proceed. Uh, I am going to select English. I prefer my games to be in English because I'd like to open. We interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. Yes. A large, unidentified object has crash-landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumi Joe. Is it Godzilla? A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Hey, Inti, been a while. How you been? lanes are currently out of service. Roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. Pulled the Gundam out of her ass. She literally lifted up her skirt and pulled the Gundam out of her ass. It's really happening. Just as you said. A kaiju attacked, like in that movie. Holy shit, I was right, it's Godzilla! So we'll do what we have to do. Get in the robots and fight. I was kidding, I didn't think the actual Godzilla was gonna show up. Forces? I came here to fight. They forcing that but dick? I don't know how to control any of this. And this robot's not making a peep. No time for a full rundown. We'll have to settle for the fundamentals. Sentinels are made to be controlled with your mind. Think of it as another body connected to your brain. Try to direct it. You can do it. Like this. inside your brain. You'll also have a direct feed of information from the Sentinel's sensors. It should sound like your own voice is speaking directly to you. For now, you'll just That's got to be jarring. Do it as you fight. Literally hearing your own voice? Yes. Talking to you? I can walk, Senpai. Actually, I had a better 
Oh, sorry. I'm not wording it the way I should. Now I just sound stupid. That's your equipment interface. Use that to neutralize the D forces in front of you. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but how's this? Okay. I'm assuming select the mech. Then. situations might call for different weapons if they're all concentrated in one area you could use a wide impact armament like the rocket launchers what what uh okay rocket launchers oh, where's the rocket launcher button check your display the rig is on your shoulders focus on them my shoulders is this how i do it All right, so I'm assuming action and then... Oh, I get it, the circle, got it. Now my question is, how's the city not further on fire from all those rockets? A massive kaiju is approaching from behind. There's just so much context missing from this conversation. In my dreams. I think I can do this. Wait until we call for backup, Izumi. My name is Juro Kurabe. Oh, again. Lots of context that we're missing here. Hold on, hold on. Get, 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 get her right there. Okay. I guess we just select them. Okay. This again? What is going on? Come on, Juro. Let's go home. Shibakun. Okay. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. You're supposed to be in a giant robot doing your part. Shibakun's oh. a bit of a class clown, but he's a good friend. I always talk to him about action flicks. Speaking of movies, I brought your video back. Thanks for letting me borrow it. Already? I just lent it to you yesterday. You wasted no time. Can you blame me? Giant robots, fights in the city? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> You sure love Mecca, don't you, Jiro? Okay. Here you go. Let me know if you have any others to recommend. 
sure, yeah. You really turned into a movie buff, huh? Goddamn VHS, that's old. Too much? Shit, well, what was my... Now that you mention it, what did I have on a kid? I remember when I was a kid. Dreams too. I had... Yep, definite movie addiction. What was it? You're showing all the, signs. the McDonald's VHS tapes. Enough, you won't know the difference between and yeah, as part of like the uh, kids yeah, menu yeah. kind of thing, like they give you the I toys. I remember one that. year when I was a kid, they gave us VHS tapes. Shall we go home, Sammy chan Ah, uh, sorry. I've got. Let me get. What the hell am I doing? Where's the door? I mean, if Yuri chan met someone find you, you're also looking at some deeper. Um. Okay, where the. Out the window? Let's go out the window. Out, out the window we go. Okay, no. Was it? No. I am holding B to go faster. I'm going a lot, a lot faster. Hold on a sec, Miyoko. Oh, what? Did you need something? Uh, not really. Am I supposed to listen in on them or something? It's Nanji kun right? Ew, no. I mean, it is a guy, but. Yuri chan met someone special too. I'm the only one left. You're also lucky with boys. It's not fair. Deep breaths, Miwako. Hold on a sec, Miwako. Did you need? Uh, no. Okay. God damn it. They're just gonna keep her. Yusaka sounds asleep again. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. Wake up, bitch! Hey, by the way, I saw that one video up for rent. Oh, the one you told me about the other day. Really? Yep. Gonna rent it. I've got to. Oh crap. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Oh, uh, okay. It's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. Hey, Fuyusaka-san. Rise and shine. Uh. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I. I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Me? What kind of dream was it? Well, um. Dude! Huh? This sucks, man. I can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute, what's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. It's not like that. Hmm? Oh yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me, carry on. <sighs> Sorry, Fuyusaka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> yeah. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. I have to get going too. She always seems to be sleeping. It's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. He's got a boner. This bitch needs something? No? I love the view from the new one's not back. I can see the whole schoolyard. All right, so the door's there. Try to talk to this guy. I know I shouldn't tease you like that. You're really supporting me. But it's your fault for keeping secrets from me. Maybe I should join a club too. All right. It's about time for me to go. Am I supposed to talk to this chick? No. Her? No.
But serious, we gotta catch that guy and quick. You wanna hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. You're just waiting for me to play him. But the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. Where the heck did that guy? We gotta find him quick. If we don't, then say goodbye to our gaming session today. You know, Amiguchi-kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right! He was there during break, too. Oh. Kurab... Hey, Kurabi-kun? What is it, Sawatari-san? Those papers on the podium... Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Do I have to? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? Send her an email. The papers are on the podium. The papers are up. I know! I'm trying to get them, bitch. There we go. Is this it? Y yes, that's right. Please take care of it. All right, now if I... Uh, what the fuck is wrong with my controller? Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but... He's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Sorry, I can't. These papers. I need to take them to Miss Morimura. <sighs> Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, alright? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. Where the hell's my bag? Oh, there we go. Excuse me. Hmm. She's not here. All right, leave them on our desk and call it a day. What should I do with these papers? Can I just leave them here? Why not? There's a document with my picture on it. What is this? They found his OnlyFans. I'll just take a peek. Juro Izumi? It's my photo, but the last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? <laughs> oh, Kurabe-kun. I'm sorry, but the first thing I noticed was her tits. What I'm just gonna say that. I think you forgot these. Oh my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Kurabe-kun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Despite the fact that I'm being drugged. Shiba-kun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. Oh, one more thing. Kurabe-kun, how is your current condition? My condition? You know, any heart palpitations, dizziness, headaches? He's looking right down at her tits. Are you getting enough sleep? <laughs> he looked down at her. <laughs> Why do you ask? There's so it's not just me, even the game's around. developers are perverted. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine, just in case. No, thank you. I'm fine. Really. I see. If you'll excuse me. I find it hilarious that as she said, do you get heart palpitations as she walked right up on him, and he looked down at her tits. Whoa, you're still here? 
Shibakun. Hey, Danny. Amiguchi wasn't in the right? criteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on. Bro, when she walked in, the first thing I saw was her tits. That's horrible of me to say, but... Something Leave it wrong. to anime. Uh, he couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. Um... It's true that one video was already rented out. But we didn't come back empty-handed. What? That old-ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. It's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. No, nothing. Miyaku. The activation. I know I did it right. Why won't it start? Miyurakun. Sure, Okun. What's wrong? Is everything all right? You look awful. He's a druggie. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Your forehead. Did it just light up? Sorry, but you shouldn't touch it. What the? My hand's lighting up too. No. What's going on? This is bad. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Don't tell me. Are you? <laughs> what was that? Over there. He summoned a sentinel. Wait. It looks different. That's a robot from that movie. You idiot, what are you doing? Send that thing back. I did that? Okino's damn code. He added a forced activation protocol. Well, this'll be interesting. Are you some friend? He, no he knew all this shit ahead of time, didn't you care to tell us. This for now. Shibakun? Uh, he did the men in black flash thingy. Some friend. Oh, okay. Um, sure. All right. We can't pick the other dude, so we gotta go with her. That's a yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. <sighs> Didn't even bother to help her up. What a douche. Mm. Oh, I got my voice cracked. Student ID. First year, Niori Fuyusaka. <sighs> Might be worth looking into. 
Oh, he's a stalker. Kisaragi. Ah, I'm Sawatari. And I'm Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? Miwa-chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, Loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Nice to meet ya. You too, Kisaragi-san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwaka. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh, you know, nowhere special. Kind of far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan. Yeah? You and Goto-senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. I think you yeah, missed it. Uh, we already did the Gundams for a little bit, but you saw the big Gundam. He's not my type. Our last he's guy pulled famous. it out of his ass. Hell, this chick Pretty. manages to pull a Gundam out of her ass, or kind of did. Look, she literally pulled it out of her ass. Usami chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and. Seems a bit weird, honestly. <sighs> you sure yawn a lot. Are you a night owl? Not really. It's just I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but last night... I was surrounded by flames, like a burning city. This huge shadow started. So I'm noticing from a common theme here. And then I woke so up. she has dreams of shit that actually happened, and the other dude huh? is watching movies of shit that actually happened. She was sleeping on the desk. Oh, um, I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh, the guy I ran into is kind of cute. Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. Doesn't exist. You are meant to be. Doesn't exist. Um, you think so? Maybe. That bitch is destined for divorce. Hmm. What is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um... You're welcome to join us, Usami-chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. What? Alright, so can I just like... No? Oh, okay. Jeez, that door was impossible. How old is this place? Gosh, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. I didn't. Our school's pretty old. Hey, Auntie, welcome back. And hello there, Seal. How you doing, We're friend? working on a new building for this... Oh, shit. ...year. But I heard construction was delayed. Uh, we, we had some jiggles. I we saw a nurse that had a very large chest. Sure hope so. 
This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. So if this is built during the war, I'm assuming they're referring to World War II. So that means this is taking place in the 80s. Isn't your class next door, Nachan? Don't worry about it. I have to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. I don't know if we ran into that character just yet, Seal. Last name, Kisaragi. We're glad to have you, friend. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice. This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Minami-san, there you are. Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I think I know that kitty. By the way, lads. Uh... April 11th, this month, three days from now, I'm going to be live streaming Amazon's Fallout on the Discord if you guys want to come check it out. Probably around this time, I might skip a stream night for it. Oh, uh, okay, I see, Seal. But yeah, I kind of figured when they said it was built in the time of the war, the only war I can think of, that would have been a major event for the Japanese. And it would have been, you know, I don't see it anywhere. notable for them. Where could it be? Would have been World War II. So if it was 40 years prior, this is after World... This is, uh, you know, oh. 40 years after, so it would be the Cold War. Knowing anime, I'm what waiting for this cat to get up and be like, here? yo, fuck you, bitch. Huh? Where'd it go? But why? Don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe-kun. We have something here. Amiguchi-kun, this isn't like you. Just listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. You feel it, right? Oh, he looking to get in his butt? I want to pursue this with you. Oh, he wants to pursue him, all right. Please. I don't know. It's just... Dude, just put it in your mouth for a little bit. Huh? Fuyusaka-san? <laughs> oh, she just cock-blocked him. What is she doing here? I... Uh, um, I think as long as you love each other, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> what? Wait, there seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> Me and this guy oh, all right, neat. dating? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? So what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order, but they do seem related. Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. <laughs> Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? No, but he'd probably feel very overwhelmed. Every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, 
Telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually, I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Because I thought... Hmm, class is starting. We can talk more later. Well, let's go, Fuyusaka-san. Ah, but they were giving off major vibes, those two. We know what they're doing after class. Here you go, Danny. Here's your Gundams. Oh, yeah. I got in this robot and... Oh, good. Looks like you're okay. Kurabe-kun? Fuyasaka-san. Everything you said came true. We got kaiju everywhere, right? I think I prefer my kaiju to stay on the silver screen. <sighs> Looks like there's more on the way. Can you... I'll try, but I think it might be broken in some places. You're in a second generation Sentinel. It weighs around 2,200 tons. With that kind of weight, it can end up crushing its own components if it collapses. This big robot looks so tough. Is it really that useless if it falls over? Don't let your guard down. We have another wave of D-forces inbound. I'm kind of getting that vibe seal. You keep talking about them like that. Considering the way the girls are acting, I kind of get that vibe. Demos. There's a kaiju. That's them. They're trying to reach the mainframe in the depths below. That's why they attack every terminal that has a connection to it. If they manage to reach the mainframe, this city will be wiped out. But we can't stay on the defensive forever. With so few of us, we could never sustain it. Instead, we have to rely on the terminal's internal defenses, a specialized program. That puts up an impenetrable shield around the area. The deep forces would be completely locked out. That's got to be the Aegis system Miss Morimura was talking about. We're only using it to buy time. How do we activate it? Whichever one of you is closest, move to the deep forces invasion point. Invasion point? You mean? I guess you could say the deep forces are uh, penetrating our lines. Yes. The terminal sits directly below. They're getting their forces point. nice and deep, slipping in there. I typically play my Japanese games in English because, like, if it's an action game, I feel like if you need to know what the hell is going on, playing it in Japanese, in a language that I don't understand, is, like, kind of jarring. So I just find it easier and more... Easier fl of flow, I guess would be the word. Okay, you have rockets. Yes, you do. Just watch. How's that? Cut you down. Oh, they're taking fire. Oh, this is oh, this is RT. This is real time. Oh shit, I'm sitting here letting them get views. I didn't realize. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm assuming it's their turn. No, it's actually not their turn. I'm just stupid. Are your 
Sentinel is still operational. Mine's doing okay. I can still fight. Who's there? Are you fighting? You're in a Sentinel. Oh yeah, thank God for the subtitles. That makes it a lot easier. I believe that's Sentinel number 12. Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama. And this is my Sentinel. Takatoshi Hijiyama. You were with Okino-kun before. I've come to save the human race. Leave this region to me. Oh, someone's followed himself. He cut off his comms. I found his Sentinel's location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself, is he? I'll move to rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. Oh, wait! Which way is the next zone? It's this way. Follow me. <sighs> we made it. Oh, okay, I got you, Seal. Looks like they're starting to panic down there. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. That's weird. Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? Not that it matters. Which character is that, Seal? Kiriko san! Huh? So, you came after me, Hijiyama kun. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Uh huh. Oh, I thought I was playing as the. Why oh, did okay. you run off? The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. But you're the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. What? But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. If you're not the real Kiriko, then... Then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Or maybe... This really isn't about who I am. You mean he got, or she got a penis? Is that what you're saying, Zeal? Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I, uh, <sighs> Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him. What does it mean if this isn't her? I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order in to an automated factory. But that's... No, you're probably just confused. I even implanted the linking component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. When you came to the factory, you said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. You're kind of a simple guy. There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying I'm going to miss you. But my key just finished decrypting. <laughs> so I'll see you later. My people need me. This is goodbye. <clears throat> E.T. go home. She vanished. That's impossible. It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. She didn't run into the mountains. Where did Kiriko-san go? <gasps> He's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. Oh, who? But if he's working with her, he might know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. Uh... Tree. Oh, here we go.
Tokisaka Shrine, huh? If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. Might still catch up if I'm fast. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. Hey, you! Give it up. There's nowhere to run. Hijiyama. So you're the spy, but there's no escaping me now. <sighs> what are you doing here? If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Answer me, or I'll do more than laugh at you. I'm going to time travel to another era. <sighs> Is that a joke? Or are you just insane? A little bit of both. <sighs> Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him. But what does it mean if this isn't her? You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? Oh my god, she doesn't have a penis! Must have been pretty convincing, then. His real name is Tsukasa Okino. He wears that stuff for his own reasons. She has a penis. I was right. What? Don't joke about that. You're just trying to confuse me. Oh, now he's sexually confused. This can't be true. Can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself just moments ago. Escaped from here into the future. I'm not falling for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back. I'm going after him. Well, so you do know where she went. Where? Show me. You don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Right. Your time travel. I'd like to see you try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me at all, Seal, knowing anime. So are we going forward or backwards in time? Because this is 84, so I'm assuming... No, we went a year ahead. Okay. <laughs> Starting to think he ain't gonna show. Kind of a waste of time travel if you're only gonna go a year ahead. He knows you'd beat his ass, watching Masan. Probably shitting his pants right now. Turned tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Whoa, hold it. What? Don't give me that shit. Nearly knocked my friggin' arm out of its socket. You wanna apologize? Oh, did I hit you? Sorry about that. You're sorry? Sorry, don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. You're also not injured, you're a douchebag. So, I don't have money, if that's what you're after. Wait, Wajima-san, I heard about him. People been talking about this guy. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. The hell? Wait, this guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Take care. Hey, don't you walk away. Come on. My yakisoba pun. I didn't even get a single bite. I mean, five second rule. You just made a Big mistake, punk. Well, no, well, no, Seal. He was saying that he was that she went to 48, I think, or they were in 1940. I'm not sure. A I'm a little confused. Me, buddy. Maybe they were in 48. I don't know. You're the one who's about to have a problem. You heard him, boys. Sick him. Pussy needs his friends. <laughs> I've got no mercy for people who waste food, especially Yaki Silva Pond. The hell happened? I thought you called me out for a fight, Wajima. Someone want to tell me what I missed here? And who are you? 
a friend of theirs? I'm Nenji Ogata from Sakura High. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. Wait, it's you. Oh, uh, okay. See, I got you. So they were in, for, uh, they were in 45. Got it. Takatoshi Hijiyama, at your service. Oh, so this, so this dude right I here is a World War II vet. All right. But they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Don't go picking fights you can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. And you owe me a fight. Do I have to fight him? Come at me. Well, you're gonna regret it. <gasps> Come at me. Bring it! Yeah, later. What the... Well, look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the 80s. Here, I figured I'd have to check up on you. What? I know that voice. And that face. Wait! Oh, no. I came for a fight, and I'm getting one. Out of my way, damn it! Hey, words, what's going on? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure, because I'm not very familiar with JoJo. Like I've never really watched it. Dawn. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. That bastard kicked like a horse. Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there. Looks like it's locked. Yeah, it seems like it's sealed. Yeah, you go chasing him some dick. Alright, um... Oh. Are you the penis wielder? Guess you found me. Kiriko-san. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? <sighs> Don't try to talk around it. I... I know who you are under those clothes. I figured you'd be here soon, You mean he so was, considering we kicked his ass. Got some breakfast for you, too. Half a year I've been searching for you. Half a year thinking of what I'd say to your face. I got you some yakisoba pond. You didn't get any yesterday, right? You got yakisoba pond for me? Hey, look, that, that's not the point. Take me back to my own time. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no, what'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? Yeah, he wants to pin you down and do something to your back door. I would never. Besides, you're a man, aren't you? Why don't you find out? Oh my god, I was kidding. <laughs> this can't be true. Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? He had a boner for a dude. This Tsukasa Okino? So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. You weren't complaining when you confessed to me. Uh, uh, I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. So why are you dressed like that now? Because I know you like it. Uh, oh. You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. <clears throat> let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. That got a little political. Why disguise yourself as Kiriko-san? Even convincing everyone you were a girl. Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... well... All Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war, and a lot of that was thanks to his work. So did the Japanese really win the war in this timeline? About his future's technology. But why? Why would you make that deal with him? For the Sentinel. Go ahead. I'll hear you out. Well? So what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on. 
You've seen it. You think they could make that back in the 1940s? Even here in the 80s, it's out of our league. That's not human craftsmanship. It was made in the future, in an automated factory. It was the automatons. God damn it, I knew it. Pulling the hull divers. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident, and it got Bring broken. freedom. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Uh, then who or what was it made to fight? Never mind. I have to get back, no matter what. If we can finish the Sentinel Project, we can win the war. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book, you know that? Say whatever you want. Oh, he's got... Yeah. Let's call him an open-minded kind don't of person. Care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. I know about the air raids in Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. I can't let. Oh, so the die. war did end the way it was supposed to. Okay. So you did some reading in the history section. Between all the manual labor you've been doing. That's what I'm saying. I feel like the binary part kind of hinted a little political. And your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof. You're a lot more determined than I expected. You've been keeping tabs on me. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I really appreciate your help with it. It does involve you, after all. When it's finally all over. Then you can ask me to do whatever you want. How's that sound? Anything I want? Even a blowy. No, I. What I want is to go back to my own time. If you're sure. Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? Oh, right. Your yucky soba pawns on the desk inside. <sighs> wow, was that your stomach? You haven't eaten anything since. All right, I got you, Seal. Huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. But I imagine because of the whole, you know, timeline messing around and whatnot, the allies end up getting their own big ass. Robot. Noodles stir fried in sauce, enfolded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post war world, but if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pawn. Where'd he go now? Maybe he really was just manipulating me. Well, it is yakisoba pawn. Not much I could do. If he's in that uniform, he's probably going to school. But what's he trying to accomplish there? Well, as long as I. It does actually it. sound good, Seal. Sauce is so sweet yet so spicy. Oh, I can't handle spice. That's something I can mm. typically work with. That hit the spot. For now, I should find Okino again. It won't do me any good if he slips away. I might as well check my old school. Yeah, I'm kind of getting that vibe. Kind of getting that vibe, Seal. Not bad. The Sentinels are incredible weapons. If we could deploy them in the mainland war, they could instantly turn the tide. That war's been over for decades, Hiji Yamakun. You can stop worrying about it. We will never stop until our foes lie dead. I'm not about to forget my duty, Yokino. Where to next? Don't get ahead of yourself. We're not done here. Reinforcements. I see kaiju gathering from across the whole city. I'll release some more drones to expand our search range. Good. Leave the fisticuffs to me. What I'm worried about is the G-molars in the back. 
You see them? Shemolar? Is that what you call the big round ones? No, G molar. As in, with the letter G? It stands for... You know what? Never mind. A G molar is a dimos built for excavation. It uses the spinning blades on its back to dig into the ground. They need to bore a path to the terminal. It's the core of their strategy, and we need to stop them. A slow poke like that? All I need is one strike to take that one out. They can withstand intensely high pressures and break through any rock. If you underestimate it, you're the one who's going to get taken out. Is that where they're headed? Yes, that's the point closest from the surface to the terminal. But your Sentinel's a first gen, which means more mobility. That'll come in handy here. Can you take out some kaiju on your way there? I don't have much choice. We're going in. Okay. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's get this rolling. Uh no. The practice round's over. Can he not move? I guess life comes at you fast. Oh, this dude literally doesn't have any guns. He's just all hit, like I'll make it work. I don't want to say hand to hand, but you know. Number twelve, moving up. <sighs> Damn machines! They're in my way. What next? Take this! I'll find it. Is that it? <laughs> Attack, I guess right here. There we go. Took out the big guy, so that's one less problem. What next? Uh, let's keep attack. Fight and we're gonna go do the something behind the bridge. Defense mechanisms in place. Now that we've got access to them, you should be able to command them yourself. Gotcha, Seal. So I'm imagining Let that this dude's more of like your frontline tank us. type character. We can make the saucer itself attack them. Let's give this one a shot. This phase plasma EMP. Now you've done it. I'll make it work. I guess life comes at you fast. You're just a machine. What am I supposed to do? The practice round's over. What next? All I'm doing is taking abuse. Oh. There we go. What did you just do? The terminal forced a shutdown of designated targets within range. That was amazing. Let's fire off some more of those. Don't know if we can do that, but we have a couple other tricks up our sleeve. I guess life comes at you fast. So we can't repair. Let's see. Uh, action, leap attack. Alright, I am limited. Uh, rush attack? The 
practice rounds over. <laughs> Enemy two. Too late, Teal. Oh, already there. Already done it. Oh. Do we lose? Aegis activation confirmed. Oh. All the hostiles in range destroyed themselves. Like magic. If we had that kind of weaponry, you should have told me. Why bother with the sentinels when we have this? It takes time to act. Alright, yeah, I gotta be mindful of that seal. Thank you. It's ready, then it's all over. It means the terminal would be fully locked down. Nobody could ever open it again. Is that a bad thing? This is Renya Goto. You are one of the compatible pilots from Sector 5. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, Hijiyama-kun. No one. I'm fighting solo. Sentinel signals detected. Sentinels are being activated in another location. Number 17 and number 19. Just how many Sentinels are online now? So we made it through. Oh, okay, see, I got you. Basically, our hell bomb. Got it. Yep. Minami san. Not chan. What are you guys talking about so seriously over here? N nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were like. Is that like a side character that I can run into later or? Oh yeah? Anything interesting? Not especially. Just I gotta learn these characters' stuff. names. Like if dreams are influenced by the movies we see. Oh yeah. That video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way! Yes! This is it! Thanks a bunch! I was super bummed, you know. I couldn't record last week's UFO Mysteries. That baseball game was going on for freaking ever. I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on! You gotta watch EXT! Oh, she's the uh, E.T. freak. Okay, I gotcha, because the UFOs. The theater three times at least. I, I just put you two and two together. about aliens without seeing that movie. I don't really intend on talking about aliens anyway. Thanks for recording this. No problem. A special series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci-fi movie. It's a real 1982 classic. Are all the names on the cover, really? Bet you're thinking, here she goes about those UFOs again. <laughs> no, not at all. You'd be the same if you watch this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah, oh, there she goes. Like Sounds like, like my uncle. Fall, right? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. That's from a book. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. <laughs> oh, that was a decent fun. movie. There's no stopping like, you. I know it's based on a book, on but... Stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. Oh, I got you, Teal. Okay. Find a real alien. And you're gonna have to get better grades in science then. Oh man, you're right. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See you guys. Bye. See you later. Fuyusaka san, hmm. we have to go to the audio visual room. <laughs> so stoked! Oh, that's right. Gonna pop Everyone's in my headphones, there. turn off I all the lights. Nachan. Yuki chan! Huh. 
You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? Oh. Yeah, who the hell knows? But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Born. Oh, this? <laughs> Come on, tell me. Nope. You're gonna laugh at me. A classic sci-fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three-legged weapons called tripods. And use them to invade the Earth. Okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show. Makes me think about destroy all humans, and now I want to play that game. Let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Doctor Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? Of course not. It makes me happy, actually, to know you're still my notch on. <laughs> But maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore. We've outgrown our kid nicknames, don't you think? <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, if it isn't Takamiya. Oh, Gata. So oh, okay. Kuri gang, they're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, my mom? Huh? I'm no damsel in distress. I can take care of my own shit. Damn. So beat it, pinhead. What did you say to me? Okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. You're also the one being a douchebag. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <sighs> Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <laughs> what the? Well, that was anticlimactic. Yuki-chan. <laughs> Don't worry. That stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. There's the bell. Better get back to class. See you soon. No? Okay. See, so many comments I want to make that I'm like, yeah, maybe I ought to be careful. I think I'm already crossing a line. Fast as ever, not to know. <laughs> Get a better time today? Oh, well, it was kind of windy today. Running against it and all. You know how it is. <laughs> First year. What's up, Senpai? Me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher. There's things to discuss about the next meet. Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Okay. Uh, what do I have to do? This thingy? Huh? Where did everybody go? They all became time travelers. Am I the only one still here? suspicious-looking man. I saw a couple of them in the schoolyard, too. I wonder what they're doing here. He's with the CIA. He's Seems looking like for Epstein. Seems looking for something. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. <gasps> Wait a minute. It's the men in black. L literally men in black. There you go. Could they really be men in black? God damn it. An organization that monitors alien activity. Maybe there's a UFO that's landed near here. A lone alien left behind by a UFO. Being pursued by relentless men in black. Its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen Earthling. Or it's an alien that has super Man, space aids and is going to wipe out humanity and your dumbass is going to be the cause of it. Sheesh, watch where you're going. Haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. <sighs> I'd better hurry and get on with the cleanup. Don't want Senpai to get mad. Okay, let's do this.
Yeah, they're gonna give her that little flashy treatment, make her forget everything. <sighs> Finally done. Uh, I'm too tired to change. Maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes. Uh, I am pretty sweaty. Uh, YouTube? Okay. What was that? The kitty? Something's in there. An alien. <laughs> Holy shit, I was right. Uh, I thought it was going to be the cat, actually. Wait. What if... What's going on? Is there a pervert in here? Uh, yeah, you. <laughs> Still totally dressed. Hey, what the heck? What are you doing barging into the girls' locker room? That's sexual harassment. I heard you scream. I was just coming to help. Plus, all those creeps in black suits? Been seeing them everywhere. So, uh, I thought... You're the only creep around here, you moron. Get out of here already. Damn. Try to do something nice around here. You know what? I mean, can I really blame him for that? Like, he heard her scream, so he thought, you know, hey, I'm going to go try to help her. Uh... Secret agents rumored to deal His heart was in the right place. And silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. Um, hey there. <laughs> it's an automaton. Kill it. Wild. It's gonna spread space communism. Call the hell divers. <laughs> he wants to give a blowjob. No way. Wait, I see a little slit in the front face. It's, he's meant for blowjobs. Oh man, this is just like the movies. <laughs> An alien. Are you an alien from space? Oh my god. I'm the chosen one. Hey there, little guy. Oh, did I scare you? It's okay. I'm your friend. Well, before he gives you hmm. space aids. Can you understand me? You and I are friends. It worked. Okay, stay calm. Oh hell, that ain't an alien. That's a little robot Otacon built. The hell was it? I can't remember. Oh, now I can't remember the name of it. It was like a little tiny Metal Gear Rex. God damn it, where's Otacon? Welcome to Earth. I can't believe this is really happening. Watch, find I out. It's just a drone, and one of the boys are using it to spy on her. Yes, it all makes sense. Those black suits all over campus? It's just like that one movie. They must be here to capture this alien. The thing they were looking for. This explains it. And that means I must protect him. Or maybe you should turn him over to the government because chances are they know something about him that you don't, but okay. He really wants to give BJ's. BJ? Wants to give 11 BJ's. Is that your name? My name is Natsuno. Then our locks and our code matched. Hmm? Huh? Natsuno. Yeah! That's me! I love that its name is BJ despite I the don't jokes. I not to be rude, but is that a spacesuit you're wearing? Like, is your brain inside of a jar or something? This robot is like, of all the humans for me to get stuck with, I have this dumb bitch. Not to know. Need memory cells. That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. But it's okay. I've seen the movie. You need to call your home planet, right? And then a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. The way he's looking around, he's like, no, you stupid bitch. I just lost my double A's. Just go get him. His name is BJ. 
His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. Are we sure about that, or are you just assuming it? Wow. This technology is crazy. You want to go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. Yeah, technically you're right. That uh, Matrix, uh, Agent Smith. You can't just go walking out like that. The black suits would spot you in a second. I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. I can get him there. Oh, yeah. Ask it. Oh, old school ET? Oh. My key bag. Yeah, this will do the trick. I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. Yeah, I know, you have the PT the PE bag. Sorry about the tight fit. Nuh uh, you gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. Just hang tight, okay? Yeah, see, there you go. See, I was right. She's just assuming. Okay. Doesn't seem Guys, like the followed. little bot's in a bag. He's like, all right, fine. It's cheaper than Uber. This is it. Toki Saka Shrine. This place has been here forever. A pretty good hiding place, too, now that I think about it. I mean, who would have thought somewhere like this? was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity. I mean, I'm making a lot of assumptions right now, Seal. Hmm. All right. We're here, BJ. Really gonna get probed. You just got kidnapped by an alien bitch. Congratulations. BJ, wait up. Don't leave me behind. Yo, that robot's an asshole. T sends her through time and then just ditches her ass. The location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. Jeez, this is getting pretty crazy even by dream standards. One second we're at the shrine, then we're surrounded by this weird light. And now we're in this place? What the heck happened to this city? It looks like there was a war. <sighs> There's more? The government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. That was news footage. Wait, no. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in my town? 
I need to know more. It's hard to see here, but we have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. It's quite difficult to comprehend. I see five, six, seven, no. There's more every time I look. Yeah, Cecile, pissing Where off aliens they? will do that. Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. They just want to probe our buttholes. The end of humanity? Will our species not live to see past 2064? They're nearly upon us. To all of you watching, good luck. 2064? We're in the future? 80 years to be exact. This can't be real. Can it? Hey, where are you going? Clearly, these kids haven't learned from Terminator. Don't fuck with time travel. What? What are those? Oh, let's go for more. Oh, huh, okay. I think I know what they are. Those things do have one extra leg, but they're just like the tripods. Weapons used by aliens to invade Earth. And now they're destroying my home. Is this really happening? Was Earth really attacked by aliens? Do they want to destroy humanity? BJ, why? Why did we come here? Oh, see, it's gonna be much deeper than that. Would you say, uh, you know, anal probe deep? Yeah, I know, but what is that? You're looking for this? Oh, it's only staring at us for no apparent reason. We gotta get out of here. Oh, she was worried about being sweaty. Got a lot more to worry about. Things are equipped with ICBMs? That's different for the Japanese. Giant walking robots with nuclear weapons. We can use the Does that make us grounds. Metal Gear? Them up Look, me, They're coming at us in one street mine. Eh, 50 cal would fix that. Position. Sort of. We have, would be equivalent. 500 cal? No, it's not a thing. Enemy on the move. 
Here we go. Did I get it? Enemy down. That was awesome. You got them all in one shot. That electromagnetic round has the power of a salvo from 46 centimeter battleship mounted cannons. But a weapon that powerful comes with high energy costs. If you don't use it carefully, you might end up out of power at the worst possible moment. Uh, Roger that! Gonna be okay. Definitely. Um, uh, MP stunner. I'm trying to spread my shots as far as possible. Hit. Amazingly, we're not bringing down any of these skyscrapers. They've got their sights on All right, guys. See, I gotta be mindful of the reload. Pilot. Those were some impressive moves out there. Couldn't have done it without you, Miracun. Warning: Dymo signatures identified. And what? There's more? How many of these guys are there? This isn't good. Looks like they're deploying wide-range attackers of their own. Let me check the Sentinels' data. Maybe we have a dossier in here somewhere. There we go. A surface wrecker. Colloquially called a twin tail. Is that all we have? The machine guns do sound good, I will give you that too. Wait, I think we have new enemies inbound. Act Sentinels number 13 and 15. Are they friendly? We're activating Aegis. This terminal will close soon. What? Juro Kun? You're in a Sentinel too? It is you, Nachan. We're here to help. No way. You too, Yuri? What's going on? We're all naked inside of robots. I couldn't have asked for better support. We have to defend the terminal until the systems activate. It's gotta be like the most uncomfortable Nachan, thing possible. Let's do this together. Uh, which one has the sentry gun? Can't mess this up. Number 13, moving out. What's our plan? I'm trying to think where would be the most effective fire. Try to smoke as many of them as possible. I'm actually kind of disappointed. Alright, doesn't let me select anything else. What about this chick? Heavy railgun. Uh, now nah, let's not do that. That'll work for now. Alright, I did something. Enemy on the move. Leave it to me. Not sure what to do about those missiles flying overhead. I don't really. That's not what I wanted. Gonna be okay. Def got it, you nah, gotta think. That's it. That hit, got it. They're down. Gotta keep my spirits up. Hit. Gotcha. No. I won't 
back down. Now. I want to clear the unit on the bridge that way uh, 13 can move up. What's going on, bud? Welcome, welcome. How you doing, friendo? Uh, that's the th you know, I would have thought AA, but, uh, missiles, you should hit them, machine guns, take them out. Oh, machine guns, okay. Yeah, we don't have any, like, dedicated anti-air. That would be clever. I was thinking the same thing, but no, we, uh, we don't necessarily have anything that's dedicated anti-air. I was about to say, we should have, it should cause AOE. I'm also finding it wild that despite the size of our mechs, um, we are not, oh, oh. We're not destroying the city. Where are they? They don't stand a chance. Take that. I have to focus. I'm on it. That we killed it? Yeah, we got it. You got questions? Go go for it. What do you got no, for me, friend? This is still just the beginning. If they can't use this terminal, they'll just move on to the next one. If that's true. We well, see that's the thing, CL. If they're amateurs, the all the more reason that they should be destroying the city. Fight. How many missiles were flying? Yeah. You know, firing? Not a single building is being destroyed? I call bullshit. It's not that I'm giving up on Attack on Toy Stug. It's just yes. that at the moment, I don't really have anything to work on. I've been looking around for mod maps just to get ideas, but right now it's just kind of dry on content. Um, so I'm kind of just waiting on, I like, I'm waiting for there to be more. That's really all it is. It's not that I'm not going to make any more. Believe me, I've been keeping a close eye on Attack on Toys. I just haven't had an opportunity to really do anything as of yet. But I do plan on getting back to it. Um, I'll be right back. I'm sorry, guys. Give me... One minute, I gotta take a piss. I'll be right back, I'm sorry. I am back. Hello. Um, anyway, sorry. But yeah, um, Stug. Yeah, I'm waiting for more content to come out for, uh, Attack on Toys. Um, I just, like I said, I've just run out of ideas. It's really all it is. This is usually a good shortcut, but it is so gross today. Muddy as heck. My shoes are soaked. Hmm. 
What's up? You look bummed. It's nothing. Thinking about how no one talks to you again. Is that what's got you down? It's just because you're so quiet, Megami. People take that as you thinking you're better than them. Or that you're cold and distant. Not sure which is worse. They just need to get to know the real Megami. The one who's a hopeless romantic. And a cool, laid-back girl just like everyone else. Maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you. Uh, that sounds cool, Stu. Hey, you should try posting videos um, online like me. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. It could really help you come out of your shell. And I think I'll pass. So, like, as of late, Attack on Toys hasn't really been adding any new updates. Like, the updates they've been adding are um, minor things like quality you know of life issues, balancing. Seen, it doesn't even have online. It has uh, LAN. Video? So you can't even play multiplayer uh -huh. online with they randoms. You were so talented. Otherwise, I'd be doing that. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. What is it? Did you see that? There was a light. I saw it in the water. Probably just a car headlight. In the water? The end of the game, they all died. Oh, they're posting videos, all right. Fall from the they're doing that OnlyFans. Are you okay? Oh, jeez, I'm completely soaked. I'm sorry. Hold, and hold the fuck on. Got blown away. What a drag. Hold, 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 hold. Giant robot falls in front of you, and you're worried about being soaked, and you lost your umbrella. How? How? Casual is this, is this an average day in Japan? Oh shit, well you know, another robot. Hey, you remember that robot from last week? Yeah, the, the, the old one, the one that looked like it came from Germany, World War II? Yeah, it looks like this is a newer model. This one fighting space aliens today. Okay. You hear what happened to Tim? Aliens took his ass, probed him. Oh, there we go. Now I'm getting a little reaction. You could have totally died just now. Nope. Still doesn't... What even is that thing? You're not very, um... Not really reacting. Could it be hey, Hunter! What's going on, bud? No, that's not it. But what then? Oh, this is wild. I mean, they noticed it now. Document this. Oh, no. Where'd my phone go? light and it's moving uh, this seems dangerous what if it like blows up we gotta report this to the police uh no stug this what? the name of this game is 13 sentinels aegis rim the aegis rim is part of the story part of the <gasps> title something's happening get out of there oh i, I need it Is it bad that all I was thinking of was the Terminator? Come with me if you want to live. Uh, Give me your um, clothes. Are you all right? <sighs> Where? No. When am I? When? Well, today is October. No. The year. Are right there calories? Right now. Oh, it's. 2024. 2024. I must have been forcefully shifted here. The front line's been broken. It's over. It's all over. Um. Should I call an ambulance? Again. Who are you? The situation that's oh, occurring right I'm now. Just, I'm just. Big ass robot on. drops in front of you, and a boy. No. Goes full on Terminator and shows up from blue next. light. 
and he's talking about we lost the front line. And, I've come and your thought is, future. do you need an ambulance? You okay? This Hot chocolate? Timeline. You need a blanket? Snappy? You okay? Oh, and he's dead. I would have so many more questions. Uh, Hunter, that that defines my childhood easily. <laughs> oh, it looks so fluffy. Come here, Fluffy. Oh, cat was like, "Fuck you, bitch." Hey, fluffy, Fluffy, don't don't go in there. Nobody. Okay. Oh, oh there's the titty right? nurse. You look a little lost. I was just thinking, in 1985, the West Building doesn't even exist yet. Yeah, that sounds about right, Stug. Oh, Seal, all I've got is answers. I mean, questions. I don't have answers yet. Google has answers. Sort of. It has the answers they want to give you. True. I needed to see you. Just one last time. Make love to me. One last time? They're coming. And number 13 is the only one that can still fight. I have to go. N no, you can't. They won't let you. Taking back that robot. Look, did you not just see the nurse with the titties? It's not a good plan, Juro. You couldn't defeat them even with all your friends. It's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all. But I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. Megami, I really am grateful to you. So, this is goodbye? Uh, I hope that it's not, but... On your way out, give her a thumbs up. Uh, Juro Izumi. They're here. Just like you said they would be. And now monsters are flooding the port in droves. <sighs> right. Megami, tell me. I've told a woman named Morimura about you. When the time comes, you must listen to what she says. Yo, the vibe he's yeah, given off me. reminds me of nothing but Hearts of Iron. Like, th those moments where it's like, you, you got everything this. set up. Everything's going good. Next That's thing you know, another more. country invades you, and you're like, oh, How shit. So then doing? you reverse the save in order to prepare for that future invasion. You must and you know exactly what they're going to do. The Juro you knew no longer exists. There was nothing else we could do. <laughs> From now on, you cannot go near him. But It's for his own good. Fuck you, bitch. I do what I want. Okay. Where do I go? No, wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> Juro. Oh, hey. Huh? I was technically doing this the right thing. This is the school you attend. It is? How about we head back to the nurse's office now? It's important to take your medicine, you know. It's important Stop. that we force you to forget everything. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now, not Juro Izumi. I don't understand. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. That can't be possible. It was the only way. So I'm let's, sure for those of you joining in just now, uh, little heads up. So, so now, this Thursday, I believe, away. is the 11th. If you haven't joined the Discord already, on the Discord, I am going to be streaming You're doing this for the nightmare that is going to be Amazon's Fallout series. And you guys get to hear my reaction to it because I am a bit of a Fallout nerd, just a little bit. So I know the basic plot line. I understand, you know, and, you know I know enough of it. I played 3, 4, New Vegas, 76. So I understand the factions decently well. So I want to see exactly what they messed up on. Kitty. Oh, holy shit, the cat talks. What? I knew it. 
All right, settle down. No need to make a scene. People are gonna start to I knew it! Crazy. I knew he was gonna talk. That cat just... Talk to me? Absolutely, Hunter. Lay it on me. What do you got? I wasn't imagining it. This cat is talking to ah, me. Ah, you're just crazy. That's stupid. Cats can't talk. You might want to try thinking before you speak. Aren't you supposed to be smart, Megumi Yakushiji? How do you know my name? I know everything about you. You're the one who called me, after all. I... did? Yes. And now I'm here to grant you your wish. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. <gasps> Looks like I hit the nerve. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. Don't believe me? Oh, of course you wouldn't. It does sound too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, I don't go around granting wishes for free. In exchange, I want your OnlyFans. I need you to do something for me. Bridgie Legs. After you agree to a binding contract, that is. 10% of your OnlyFans revenue. You really have to think about it. Come on, it'll be easy. No experience necessary. And you'll save Yeah, you. honestly, Stug, like I, I lost track of the names. Well, Hunter, you had a question for me? What do you got, bud? Assuming this isn't a dream, or a hallucination, or some kind of cruel joke, what exactly would I need to do for you? I come from another world, one that was destroyed. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient civilization. It is called the Dimos Cone. Oh. It spreads like a nasty curse. And has begun to infect this world, too. I must find all the codes and set things right again. That is my mission. And the no big deal job you get to do. Oh, of course, saving the world. That's the that's no big that's no big deal. If it's so easy, why don't you just do it yourself? You're not serious, are you? What do you mean, that, would I consider them? I consider playing them, or would I consider them as part of Jeff? Or would I consider them to be JRP? Elaborate, please. You're only damning yourself if you refuse. Um. Oh, this is RPG? Uh, sure. A contract with a cat. This can't go wrong. Are you gonna turn me into a magical girl or something? Well, I am curious to see what this is all really about. And more importantly, who's behind it. I can come play with you for a bit after school, okay? Just cause you're so cute. Sure, make fun. Just the fate of the world that's at stake. There's nothing impossible about it. All right, I'll give you some time to think about it. I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical. Instead of some idiot who believes everything she hears. Make no mistake. You will accept my contract. It's just a matter of time. I did accept the contract. Uh -oh. oh. Did stream just die on me? Uh-oh. Uh, let me check on this real quick. I don't know if streaming is still going, but let me just double check and make sure it's still live. If I am live, great. If not, I apologize. Uh, okay, no, it's still, still going. Oh, uh, I, st I still see chat. I still see you guys. I'm just making sure that we're... Nope, looks like we're still going. I still see you guys. 
All right, no, I just don't know what happened. Restream decided to log me out, but I think we're good. And it looks like everything is still working the way it's... I, I can still ever see my input on YouTube, so we're still golden. Um, <laughs> I'm good, Seal, thank you. But, um, yeah, before I wrap this up, because I think this is about where we're going to wrap it for now, uh, Hunter, can you elaborate on that question a little bit more, please? What do you What do you mean by that? Do you mean like, uh, do I consider those to be Japanese games? What I'm a little confused. Um, if that is the case, Seal, let me look at those games again. Um, I mean, if they're actually classified JRPGs, then of course I consider them Japanese. Oh yeah, that's what he's asking. Would you classify them as JRPGs or Western RPGs made by Japanese people? I wouldn't consider them Western if they're not made by Westerners. Um, it also depends on what they're inspired by, too. So... Uh, Monster Hunter, the Souls games, I think, are typically made in Japan, so I would classify them as uh, JRPG, or and not necessarily RPG, because they may not necessarily be RPG, but Japanese, I would at least consider. Uh, Dragon's Dogma is also Capcom, so I would, I would have that fall in line. Um, basically, the way I look at it is wherever it came from, that's what it is. It, it's just, you know, it could be inspired by the alternative, of course. There could be American RPGs that are inspired by Japanese, but at the end of the day, it's still American. Whereas, alternatively, the Japanese could have stuff that's inspired by Americans, but again, still made in Japan, still Japanese. So that's the way I look at it. Um, all right, we'll do seal. But anyway, lads, ladies and gents, that is where we're gonna wrap this up for for tonight. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like. I don't know if so Thursday I'm going to go ahead and continue. I don't know if I'm going to stream more on Thursday, considering the fact that I'm going to be doing the whole Fallout thing Thursday night. So, if you guys want to join me, Discord, link in the description. As always, enjoy the channel, the content, any goofy engagements that you guys leave helps the channel out. Likes, dislikes, bell icon, comments. Helps the channel grow and get out to other users. Um, I want to say thank you to Stug, Seal, Danny, Hunter... Uh, who else was I missing? I want to make sure I got everybody because I would feel awful if I forgot anybody. Danny, Stug, Steel, Inti. I almost forgot Inti. Don't want to forget Inti. Inti, Seal, Words. I almost forget. I always forget Words. Words, I'm sorry. So Words, Inti, Seal, Danny, Stug, Hunter, Seal. I think I said Seal. I think I got everybody. I think I got everybody. Okay. Thank you guys for joining. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, first impression, Seal. I'm intrigued. Um, now, I know I crack a lot of jokes. That doesn't mean that I hate this game. And you can kind of tell with me, like, so if I hate a game, I'm just going to be generally pissed off by it. Or I'm going to be complaining. I'm going to be very energetic. If I'm cracking simple jokes like, hey, look at her titties. Like, it's just, it's me just being a dumbass. But at the end of the day, I do like this. So far, I'm intrigued. So there's enough here to draw me back to it. Uh, my only problem is it's more of a me issue. I'm getting old getting sleepy I don't know what it is I really don't know what it is I, I could be totally engaged in the game and still I'm just like I want to go take a nap like I I'm getting old but anyway lads that's where I'm gonna leave this thank you guys for watching hope you've enjoyed it I will see you all on the next one uh I may skip streaming Thursday to do the fallout thing and then Friday get back to this or I might stream Wednesday uh, I'm gonna think it over tomorrow and of course I'll make a decision by the end of the night uh, if you see updates, then there you go. If you don't see anything, then there you have it. Uh, but anyway, see you guys around. Love you all. Fantastic night. Later, people. See you around on the next one.